moving on, we have two questions on uh, Square, payment service provider. Um, first, uh, thoughts on Square making all-time highs in this environment. Does the short thesis still play here? Uh, are there major headwinds near term? Thoughts on earnings uh, as a catalyst in August? Uh, yeah, so Square. Uh, so Square's rise since you know mid March. The mid March lows has been pretty uh, amazing. Uh, our original thesis on Square was that Square was really two businesses. It was a merchant merchant processing business that was showing signs of decaying growth, and also a peer to peer money transfer platform that was growing quickly but was still small relative to the total enterprise. So the merchant processing side of the business is the much larger portion of the overall enterprise. It was our contention that it would slow down uh, significantly and that ultimately that would weigh on the stock, especially considering it was trading at over 100 times earnings. So in the early weeks of COVID, this thesis largely played out as their merchant business, which is largely small businesses that are card present, not online, uh, thought volumes hammered by the lockdown. The stock got cut in half. It went from $80 down to $40. Uh, however, COVID triggered a surge in cash app downloads, their peer-to-peer -peer business. So daily downloads had been running around 80,000 a day prior to the virus. Uh, then April and May saw daily downloads surge to around 120,000 a day, so roughly a 50% increase in a month. Uh, so June, fast forwarding to the most recent data, still saw elevated downloads, but they're beginning to show signs of slowing down as the last couple weeks of June had slowed from roughly 120,000 a day to around 110,000 a day. So that's a little bit new. Um, our view today is really that COVID pulled forward growth that would have taken probably on the order of a couple of years into a matter of a, a couple of months. Um, now on the flip side of that, the stock has risen way beyond what even that increase in growth would support. So shares are currently trading around 130, and earnings for this year are projected to be 27 cents. So the stock's now trading at over 500 times earnings. The other thing to understand is that momentum is playing just a huge role here. So a couple of days ago, we hosted a call with uh, Mike Taylor, a PM at Millennium, a mild shop actually, uh, who talked about the role that retail investors, i.e. Robinhood, are playing in the market today. So Square, we were looking at this the other day, has gone from 85,000 Robinhood holders to 105,000 in the last three weeks as the stock has gone from basically 80 to 130. So this is playing a huge role, and the thing to realize is that whenever it's, it's retail money and it's momentum factor driven, this is something that can unwind just as quickly as it wound up. So that's sort of the backdrop and, and our big picture thoughts on Square.